Hey there, what's up? Today we're going to be taking a look at GitHub Copilot versus a Facebook coding interview. So I have two questions here, add strings and add two numbers, both of which are known to be Facebook interview coding questions for their software engineer internships. Um, so first let's take a look at the add string. Um, these are both from lead code. Um, so given two non-negative integers, num1 and num2 represented as a string, we want to return the sum of num1 and num2 as a string. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and copy the uh, description here with this, as well as the examples and constraints, and paste that into a VS Code uh, window. And here we go, I'm going to paste that in, so exactly how it was there. And now let's go ahead and add in the, uh, the template code right here. And paste that in and we'll let github copilot fill this out and see what it does and okay it has something so let's go ahead and tab um, and what I'm going to do is copy this code right here let's paste this back here and let's just submit and see what it looks like and there it is uh, so the first question github copilot passed su very successfully and we have faster than 65 percent of all the other online submissions and less than 85 percent um, memory usage compared to all the other submissions so that's fairly good score so let's move on to the next one uh, which is add two numbers so this one again it's uh, kind of related to the adding numbers uh, this one except we're using linked lists instead of strings. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to incorporate this image into the GitHub Copilot itself, but I will be uh, providing it these input output examples as well and the constraints. So let me go ahead and set that up. Let's go to add two numbers, and I'm going to go ahead and paste in the constraints. So there we go. This is all the information given. And let's go ahead and also copy the template code right here. Boom. And we'll go ahead and let Copilot autofill. And there it is. Uh, let's go ahead and copy. Oops. Uh, okay, we'll just copy from here. So let's paste that in and let's go ahead and submit. And there we go. We see that uh, the GitHub Copilot generated code has successfully passed with it running faster than nine, uh, sorry, 59.56% of all the online submissions. It uses less memory than 45.38% of other Python submissions. So yeah, it seems like GitHub Copilot definitely is able to sufficiently complete this code. Um, but given that these are fairly popular coding problems, it's not too much of a surprise. Um, that it's able to solve these successfully. I'd imagine that if it was something a little more sophisticated and complicated, uh, it might have a little bit more trouble doing. But if you enjoyed this content, I would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you enjoyed. And again, let me know if you have any suggestions for what I should try out for my uh, future content. And any feedback is appreciated, so please leave that in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching.